So ladies and gentlemen, Justin Trudeau does it again like he did it last year in his parliament yesterday again in the press conference. He has accused India of getting into violent activities in Canada and killing Canadian citizens. So this claim is completely bizarre and I am sure India will not be affected by it. Many of you have asked me what will happen. Well, uh, let me remind you that I had already spoken about this in this video uh, four weeks back where I said that after 17 September, uh, Prime Minister Modi has to be careful because there could be allegations from foreign countries, especially from the Western nations that is doing something which is actually not. So many of you have also asked me, will there be sanctions and will India be affected adversely uh, because of this? Well, my answer is, I don't think so. I don't think any of that will happen. I don't think Canada has such power at the moment to uh, you know, uh, globally sanction India. Even if it does, it will not be for very long and it will backfire and Canada will pay a very heavy price for this. And let us see how the thing unfolds after the elections. Don't forget there are elections in Canada. And recently, some months back when there was an election in Maldives, Mr. Muizu also gave similar statements. But now you see he recently came here and he got 400 million US dollars from India. So don't worry, these are primarily election gimmicks uh, catering to his loyal or apparent loyal quote-unquote vote bank in Canada. Uh, but I think all this will backfire and India will have the last laugh. All right. So in case you want to know more what could happen, you can always go and check this video, which I made 14 days, uh, four weeks back. All right. Thank you and take care.